Our next guest is a woman with many talents. She's a host, New York Times bestselling author and actress. And now you can catch her heating up the screen on the hit Showtime series, The Shy. Please welcome Lala Anthony. Hi, hi everybody. Hey. How's it going? Hey, so good. Up, Welcome Lala? back to the show. Where are you hitting us All up right, from? Now, I'm in LA right now. I'm in Los Angeles. Okay, okay. Yes. Awesome. Oh, amazing. All right, so how have you and your son, Kyan, been enjoying your time during quarantine? It's been interesting, like everybody else, trying to, you know, mm -hmm. cope and figure out ways. I mean, some days are up, some days are down, which I think comes with, you know, just quarantine in general. But keeping him active, keeping him outside, he loves basketball, so we're on the court most of the time. And just, you know, trying to make sure he's active and not just stuck in front of the computer all day, you know, doing school and stuff like that. I like to mix it up for him, for sure. That's I hear that. good. You know, Lala, we were first introduced to you as Lala, but I heard now you may be wanting to go by your government name. Hey, Ooh. Lonnie, <laughs> why you want to switch it up? So the thing is, like, you know, with the acting and the producing side, just because when people hear Lala, they know the TV personality, the radio personality, the host, and with acting and producing, it's a little bit different. So I'm never going to get rid of Lala, but my real name is Alani. So I said maybe it'll be Alani Lala Anthony. I just feel like in that space, okay. people might take it a little bit more seriously than just being Lala. So I played around with the yeah. idea for my acting credits and producing credits to be Alani Lala Anthony. Uh, I love the name Alani. I think it's beautiful. I can see why you're thinking of bringing it back. But you and Sierra have been spending a lot of time together with Vanessa Bryant, which I love to see the videos and the pictures, as she obviously continues to grieve the loss of her husband, Kobe Bryant, and her daughter, Gigi. How's she doing? You know, she, I always tell her she's the strongest woman that I know for sure. And, you know, as her friends, it's our mm -hmm. job to just be there to love her and support her and just, you know, be there for her. So that's what we've always done and what we'll continue to do. But, you know, she definitely always appreciates all the love and prayers yeah. and, and well wishes from everyone. So thank you so much for thinking of her and asking for her. And, you know, day by day, she, she's, she's doing good. That's yeah, so it's it's incredible. I agree with you. Her strength shows through. Um, you guys have rallied around her. Why do you think, obviously, why is that important? Um, I think it's it's girl power. You know, you want to be there for your girlfriends yes. through good times, through bad times. You don't just want to be the yes. person that shows up when everything's great. You want to be a person that's yeah. there for your friends no matter what. And that's who I am. And I'm just happy to be able to be a support system for someone that I've known for so long. Um, and I just want to continue to be that, that type of friend to anybody who's in my life for sure. That's Love amazing. That. Speaking of friendships, you and Kim Kardashian are super good friends and you both know the pressures of high profile relationships that make headline news. How do you guys support one another? You know, it's just the same. I, I think it's, it's really honestly the same way that everyone supports their girlfriends. We get together, we laugh, we cry, we talk about funny things, we talk about yeah. clothes we talk about kids we talk about everything you know we just yeah. try to keep it light and fun the world is such a heavy place the pandemic everything going on like it's heavy all yeah. around it's nice to be around your friends and just be able to laugh and just kind of take a break from all of that stuff and just have fun so we definitely try to do that when we get to get a chance to actually hang out and stuff you're a great friend that's awesome exactly so lala i heard that you're working on a third book what is this one going to be about? So I wrote the Love Playbook, which was great. The Power Playbook was great. And I am still kind of figuring out what the third installment is. My life has definitely changed a lot since the Love Playbook and the Power Playbook. So maybe it's just talking about where I'm at now in my life mm. in general and life, you know, coming through the pandemic and after and, you know, different things that happened yeah. to me. So maybe it'll be about that, but still trying to figure it out. But people are asking, and the first two books did incredibly well, the Love Playbook crushed sure. it so just figuring out you know what the next the third installment will be but super excited to um figure it out that's we gonna be great really and yeah. in your bet documentary killer curves you address the dangers with getting plastic surgery in the black market so what are your thoughts about women still putting their lives at risk to achieve the perfect body um you know i'm definitely all about doing what makes you feel good what you want 
you to do to make yourself feel good. I'm all for that. I just say, do the research and do it the right way. Your face, your body is not something that you want to get a discount on. Like, okay, clothing, jewelry. All right, go wheel yes. and deal and do what you got to do. But your body and your face, like, no, I'm not trying to go get some discount from some guy or woman who's not licensed somewhere. Like, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to do. So I just did the documentary to really provide information on if this is what you want to do, totally support it, but this is the right way to go about doing those things. And I think that's important, um, especially in the African-American and Hispanic communities. There's so many women sure. that are getting caught out there in the black market and just doctors that are not certified and not licensed and just trying to do quick fixes and it's not going good. So just want to continue to shed light on that. And that documentary was really important to me and why, you know, I wanted to put that out. 